Charger hogs are ruining the electric vehicle experience. One company is clamping down on bad man. Errs. CNN Business. Sometimes new technologies can seem disappointing but, really, it isn't the technology that's disap. Ointing but the people using it. Below are your comments. I have a suggestion. Don't buy EVs until the charging infrastructure is ready for the demand. Unfortunately, that will be more than 10 years from now. Nothing that I read about EVs ever convinces me I should get one now. Even the most positive articles contain a but about sewn drawback compared to ICE vehicle. Everything tells me that it's a technology that doesn't have any market appeal at all without government subsea dies, and it's being forced on a populace that isn't ready for it yet. But that's just me, I could be wrong. I had a similar issue at Charlotte Douglas Airport last spring, of the 18 EV charges 16 had vehicles still plugged in that were fully charged. You would not do this at a gas station so EV owners have to get better at not hogging chargers. Based on the hype and shameless self-promotion, I thought that EV owners were the self-anointed cons. Science of the universe, and as such, hold themselves to a higher moral standard than the common man. Dot dot dot. Are you implying that these self-righteous and sanctimonious paragons of society will resort to a nap? Appropriate behavior toward others when it serves their purposes just like we mere mortals? A plug-in hybrid eliminates all of these issues. The vast majority of one's driving is handled well within the range of a current generation Toyota P. Rius. No need for two vehicles, instead have the best of both worlds. Eliminates range anxiety. No waiting in long lines for a public charger. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.